In today's news headlines, a 25-year-old man lost his life during a serious shelling incident between law enforcement officers and unscrupulous individuals in the parish of St. Thomas. A man who was hurt during the shelling incident on Wednesday during a confrontation between members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and unscrupulous individuals in Seaforth, St. Thomas. The individual who passed away has been identified as Dwayne Gordon, also from Seaforth in the parish of St. Thomas. According to reports, it suggests that sometime after 12 p.m., a group of dangerous individuals allegedly opened shellings at the police who took evasive action and returned the shellings. During the shellings, Gordon was reportedly hit. He was assisted to the hospital where he was pronounced by the medical team. It is not immediately clear whether Mr. Gordon was among the group of dangerous individuals who had allegedly engaged the police in the shellings incident. The Independent Commission of Investigations is currently investigating this matter. Two men are presumed to have lost their lives following a collision on the Winston Jones Highway in the vicinity of Marshall's Pen on Wednesday evening. Reports are that close to 6 p.m. a Honda CRV motor car had a collision with a truck, which resulted in the men being hurt. The men remained on the roadway after being extricated from the mangled Honda CRV by conflagration professionals. Police cordoned off the roadway, which is a crucial thoroughfare linking Mandeville and its environs to points in the west. A dangerous tool was seized after a police chase in Mandeville, Manchester. Three unscrupulous individuals, however, managed to escape. A fourth man was arrested by the police. Three dangerous individuals managed to elude the police following a chase in Mandeville, Manchester, which also resulted in a dangerous tool being seized on Wednesday afternoon. According to the head of the Manchester Police, Darby, the men were aboard a white motor car traveling near the New Green Roundabout in a manner that aroused suspicion when they saw the police. It was further mentioned that a patrol team saw the vehicle at the roundabout close to 3 p.m. The police turned around in the road and chased the car. The men eluded the patrol team in traffic before being later spotted by a second patrol team in the town of Mandeville on Caledonia Road in the vicinity of Leith Mall. It was mentioned that another unit saw the vehicle and turned around. The vehicle sped away. The men jumped out and left the vehicle and eluded the police again. Following a search of the vehicle, a dangerous tool was discovered. It was also mentioned that some persons saw the men carrying what appeared to be dangerous tools when they exited the vehicle. A fourth man was arrested as the police believe he deliberately blocked their interception of the vehicle. There was a second vehicle that the police believe prevented them from intercepting the first vehicle. So they have that man for questioning as well. In further news, a member of a dangerous group from St. Catherine was held in Elsley Gardens. A man known to be a reputed leader of a Spanish town based dangerous group is currently in police custody. He was arrested on Tuesday evening during a police military operation in Ellesley Gardens, St. Catherine. Since last week, the security forces have been conducting operations in search of dangerous group members and illegal dangerous tools in Spanish town St. Catherine. The individual was being sought for questioning in relation to serious incidents and other dangerous activities which occurred in Spanish Town. La Palma Island braces for more quakes as a volcano roars on. Residents on Spain's La Palma Island braced Wednesday for the possibility of bigger earthquakes that could compound the damage from a volcano spilling lava more than five weeks since it erupted. Seismologists have stated that a 4.6 magnitude earthquake shook the island a day after they recorded a 4.9 magnitude quake that was the strongest so far of the hundreds that have occurred on the La Palma since the volcano's September 19th eruption. So far, the earthquakes have either been small enough or far enough on the La Palma to do no harm, other than adding to the anxiety of the island's residents. The Tuesday earthquake was felt up to 60 miles or 96 kilometers away on three other segments of the Canary Islands, an archipelago of northwest Africa. 
The scientific committee has been warning for more than a week that they could see earthquakes given their recent depths of around 12 kilometers or 7.4 miles and their magnitude that reached a magnitude of 6 on the Richter scale. Flows of molten rock from the Cumbre Vale volcano itself have caused the evacuations of approximately 7,500 persons and caused harm to more than 2,000 buildings, mostly homes. The rivers of lava cover over 900 hectares or 2,200 acres of mostly farmland, while one major flow is extending the island into the Atlantic as it cools. Loss of lives have resulted from the eruption. Other than in an area on the island's western side, life continues as normal for La Palma's 85,000 residents, except for having to clean up volcanic ash. The last eruption on the island occurred in 1971, and it lasted for 24 days. Its longest in 1949 lasted 47 days. The current activity is on day 39 and shows no signs of season. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.